Hello and welcome. This is Jay with Web App Hero. This video covers how to add color to the command prompt within the Bash shell of either Mac OS X or any Unix flavor. On the left, you can see all the output of my terminal is the same color. And that makes it difficult to see which lines were used to enter commands and which lines are the output of those commands. And so let's roll up our sleeves here and see if we can figure out how to customize our command prompt. The first thing that we want to do is visit webapphero.com and look for the Mac Terminal Colors for Command Prompt page. And we can insert dashes between each of those words and get where we need to go. And this page does include a prerequisite. So if you haven't already followed the instructions to affect the output color of your ls command, go ahead and do that now and then come back to this video and that'll make certain things very clear. And I'd also like to right off the bat thank the folks at uh, at the very bottom of this page there is in step number four customize there's a helpful resource. If we open that up the folks at Nixcraft have put together two really helpful tutorials that are also prerequisites. We should look, at least look these over to become familiar with the formatting structure. This section here includes the attributes that are needed to format the command prompt itself. And then a little bit further down the page, there's a really helpful link on coloring your shell prompt. And it's the information in this section that we'll be looking at quite a bit here. So here are the color codes. These are XY pairs. It's zero semicolon and then a two-digit color code after the semicolon. Or either a one instead of a zero will make each of these colors bold. And so uh, the, the real little gem is where you need to start your color code, you do that with backslash E, left square bracket. And where you close your color code, you do that with backslash E, left square bracket M. And that information was really helpful for me as I set about to customize my command prompt. And the other thing, we should thank the community because uh, the nice people that decided to, took their time to respond and comment uh, to this blog, the very first commenter noted uh, that you, if you put backslash left square bracket, backslash right square bracket around your color codes, that it helps it to work with line wraps as well. So if you have a command that goes beyond one line, it keeps everything working. And so putting all of this information together, we can hopefully save you some time as you set about to customize the color of your command prompt. So let's look at my dot profile file and the simplest representation that we can focus on is down here at the bottom and I will include this in the blog page for this tutorial. And here we have instead of using color codes what I'm using are shell aliases. If you don't know about shell aliases you can do a search for shell alias and bash would be a good place to start and we simply create a name value pair and I'm using the name with a dollar sign in front of it and in certain cases I also have to escape that dollar sign using the backslash so I had to play around with this and experiment a little bit to get mine exactly the way that I wanted it and I expect you'll have to do the same but I wanted to provide the simplest abstraction that I could so that you can reason about these things. And so in order to do that, even though the implementation that I'm using for my command prompt is more complicated, let's look at the simplest case. I'm going to actually uncomment this bottom line. We'll save the file. 
open up a new shell window and you can see that the entire prompt is, is one color now. So let's take a look at the structure of this. Here we have a string called prompt and it is using the formatting elements that are discussed in that first link we talked about. So for example, this lowercase h is the host name up to the first dot. And then this dot is actually a literal. So I, I wanted to include dots in my prompt. And then we have username and then we have present working directory. Then we have the dollar sign, which is the de facto bash prompt symbol. And then we have a space after that, which is also customary. So this entire string is being saved in the environment variable prompt, and then we're referring to that as dollar prompt right here. And in this case, we did not have to escape the dollar sign. So taking these two things into account, basically we have these characters represent the color, and these characters represent the prompt. Everything else is either the color code or the entire wrapper. Again, we have the line wrapping issue that our commenter pointed out. So we have backslash left square bracket as an opening pair, and we have backslash right square bracket as a closing pair. And besides the color and the prompt variables, everything else is a single set of opening and closing color tags. So these, these are the commands that instruct the shell how, how and what to color. So if we go back to the color page again, just wanted to show you that section, and there it is again, and it's saying, these are the characters to start the color scheme, and these are the char characters to stop the color scheme. So this is the simplest case, and we see that that works. I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. I want to show you maybe the not-so-simple case that I did. And we're going to save the file open a new shell and you can see this is the same exact output that we have in the help documentation of this page so one thing that you can do of course is just come in here and copy this string and boom you're good to go y you just put this in your dot profile file save the file open a new terminal and there you go but if you want to customize things you'll want to understand a little bit more of how it works and that was the purpose of this video was to basically give you the simplest abstraction that we could for how this all goes together and also included in here this default prompt it's commented out um, doesn't really need to be but since we're not using it I commented it out and you could exchange default prompt for prompt in this formula down below and this is the default prompt if you'd like to keep things the way they are in the system you're welcome to do that and this color alias section I will also include in the help documentation and that wraps up our tutorial I hope this was helpful thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye